Good morning. It is Vlogmas Day 20. It is 8 o'clock and I am up for the day. I have a meeting today at noon, so I'm going to leave here at 11, do a few errands before I go. Um, so I am ready for my cup of coffee this morning. Feeling great today. So far, I have fasted since 8 p.m. Monday night. So, and this is 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. So most likely, I will have breakfast at 10 o'clock. So I'll break my fast at 10 today. Um, it's been pretty easy, of course, upset stomach, you know, I'm just hoping the food settles well. I haven't had any issues with the coffee that I've been drinking. So hopefully the food settles well, but we'll see here in a minute because I am ready to go in and get started on our 12 days of coffee, day number seven plus open day number seven of our 12 days of Christmas presents. Okay, I will. See you all in a few seconds. Alrighty, it is time to pick our seventh present. And I am going for this one right here. Very intriguing. Alrighty, let's go see what that is. <laughs> okay, we have our coffee ready. It is called Spiced Eggnog. Smells almost exactly like yesterday's. Okay, it says, traditional holiday eggnog flavor with decadent rum, abundant cinnamon, and nutmeg spice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's almost exactly like yesterday's, except for remember yesterday I said that it was more of an essence and not really a flavor. This is just a stronger flavor. It's, yeah, but it tastes almost exactly the same. Yep, but it's good, it's good. <laughs> Alrighty, the president, the president. Oh, yeah, it's Marshall. He used to always call them the presidents. It's very intriguing. I don't have a clue. Okay, let's tear it. In. Oh, it's one of those lip balms. Okay, but it's like an ornament. Ah, <laughs> cute. Ooh, cherry. Okay, well, we're opening this up right now. on the floor. Mmm, it smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I think it's got a little bit of a lip stain to it too. Nice. Thank you, Charlene. <laughs> <laughs> I love the box. I had me intrigued the whole time. That's one of the ones I'm like, what could that possibly be? <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty, you guys, I am going to finish my coffee while I'm getting ready for the day, and I will talk to y'all here in a few seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, I am dressed for the day. It is 10 o'clock, and I am ready for my meeting. I am wearing my cardigan and my leggings from Kato's, my boots that I got in clearance from Kmart, and a tank from Walmart. So the whole outfit cost $22, and it should serve me for a while as I'm transitioning into lower sizes. And I am feeling a difference this morning. I definitely had a whoosh, so I cannot wait till my way in on Friday. So anyway, <laughs> all right, y'all. I will talk to you guys on my rolling ramble and you have a good day. Welcome to the rolling ramble. <laughs> I am on my way to work and it is 1130. Uh, my meeting's at noon. And what I'm gonna ramble on about today is the whoosh effect. I had said earlier that I feel like I've experienced a whoosh. And I figured a lot of people may not know exactly what I'm talking about. And what that is, is where the fat cells are big and fat. And you're breaking down the fat and using it for fuel. You turn it into ketones. Well, that fat cell isn't ready to be taken out of production yet. It wants to be prepared in case you start packing on the pounds again. So as it's using up the fat, it puts water in that cell. It's replacing it with water so the cell can remain active if you happen to decide to use it again. So after a while, the cell's like, okay, I'm sitting here holding a bunch of water and all my friends are holding a bunch of water and we're all just sitting around holding a bunch of water and she just keeps using us up and turning us into ketones. So I think I might as well deactivate this cell because she's not going to need it anymore. So then the cell eventually flushes out all the water and collapses. So then that's when you experience a whoosh effect. In one evening you can go to bed at one in the evening wake up the next day and you could have lost in between five and ten pounds that big of a whoosh and and that's when you know it's the whoosh effect because all of a sudden there's just such a massive amount of weight gone more than could be explainable through breath transfer because that's how you lose weight people is through your mouth we can lose up to a quart of fluid in vapor through our mouth as we're sleeping. So between, with a whoosh effect, between what you're losing through breath transfer and then urination on top of it, you can definitely lose a lot of weight during a whoosh effect. So it's very interesting. Look that up and see what, uh, all the websites have to say about the whoosh effect. Alrighty guys, I am coming on in the new Concord, so I am going to get off of here and get prepared for my meeting, and I will most likely not be on again today, so if I don't talk to you again, you guys have a great Vlogmas Day 20, and I will talk to you tomorrow for our final secret word. The last word of our sentence will be tomorrow, and the first person to put in the comment section the completed sentence after day 21 is posted wins that gift basket. Oh, I'm so excited. Last word tomorrow, guys. Be looking for it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello. I just got home from work. It is 10 o'clock and I just wanted to get on here and talk about when I broke my fast today. So I had said I was probably going to have breakfast about 10 before I went to work and I ended up not doing that because I was thinking oh, we're going in there to have that Christmas 
luncheon and I did not want to um, just getting home have to snuggle the baby and I did not want to eat and then go in there and eat just a few short hours later so I ended up breaking my fast at one o'clock and they ended up being 41 hours 41 hour fast okay easy 41 hour fast and um, I had three meatballs one ounce of ranch dip, a piece of cauliflower, and a piece of broccoli, a few pieces of celery with one ounce of cheese ball divided between them, and then two ounces of chicken salad. And I had that plate at one o'clock, and then I had an exact same plate just like it at dinner time tonight about seven. And I had my two cups of coffee this morning and I ended up not having any more coffee today. I had uh, two Diet Dr. Peppers. So when I got home, I brewed myself a cup of Walmart's Great Value Triple Chocolate. And I'm gonna enjoy that here before I start settling down for the evening. I've got a big day tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm gonna get on here and vlog any before I go to work. Uh, not work I'm off tomorrow but I have to I have an appointment so I have to be someplace tomorrow morning and by six o'clock mm -hmm. so most likely I will go do my thing and come back and then we'll have our 21st day of Christmas and uh, open our presents and Yuletide blessings and all that good stuff so uh, so excited for tomorrow but six o'clock appointments quite early <laughs> so mmm and if you have not had Walmart's triple chocolate coffee, oh yeah, give it a go. It's pretty good. Mm, really good. Alrighty, I just wanted to get on here and explain because I did not take a picture of my second plate. Uh, I don't even. I just didn't even think about it, but I set it up and it looked exactly like the first plate, so it really wouldn't have mattered anyway. So I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a good evening, and I will talk to you at some point tomorrow. <laughs> Blessings. Mm -hmm.